welcome to A Pastor's Perspective. I'm Ken Gray and I serve here at Calvary Life Family Worship Center in Cheshire, Connecticut. And today we continue our devotional study in the book of Ruth, chapter 3. At this point, Ruth has demonstrated great qualities of character, great love for her mother-in-law, and has honored her throughout a process that has been very painful and very difficult. She gleaned from Boaz through the entire harvest. And then I'm going to read a significant amount of scriptures that, that tell us the result of her honoring her mother-in-law. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, My daughter, shall I not seek security for you, that it may be well with you? Now is not Boaz our kinsman who's, with whose maids you were? Behold, he winnows barley in the threshing floor tonight. Wash yourself, therefore, and anoint yourself, and put on your best clothes, and go down to the threshing floor, but do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. It shall be when he lies down that you shall notice the place where he lies, and you shall go and uncover his feet and lie down. Then he will tell you what you shall do. She said to her, All that you say I will do. It's interesting because Ruth has really honored her mother-in-law in a variety of ways, but in this specific case, she's honoring her mother-in-law by doing exactly what she instructs her. She's honoring the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding that she has, that Ruth is not completely really aware of at this point. So she is faithful to honor her. So when she goes to the threshing floor, she does exactly what her mother-in-law tells her to do. And then after the middle of the night occurs and she has put herself at the feet of Boaz and he wakes up being startled because he recognizes someone is there. And when he does so, he questions her and says, who is this that has lied down? So she identifies herself and then he responds in this fascinating way in verse 10. Then he said, May you be blessed of the Lord, my daughter. You have shown your last kindness to be better than the first by not going after young men, whether rich or poor. Now, my daughter, do not fear. I will do for you whatever you ask. For all my people, all my people in the city know that you are a woman of excellence. Now it is true, I am a close relative. However, there is a close relative closer relative than I. Remain this night, and when morning comes, if he will redeem you good, let him redeem you. But if he does not wish to redeem you, then I will redeem you as the Lord lives, lie down until morning. We see here uh, Ruth receiving an unusual honor from a very well-known and respected individual named Boaz. And this honor comes not as an accident, this favor that she receives from Boaz, where he says to her, I'll do whatever you ask of me, is, is only because Ruth honored the instruction of that person who was her authority, her mother-in-law. And so I want you to understand the importance and the significance of honoring those that God puts in our lives who are over us. When they give us instructions, coming from the standpoint of knowing something that we may not know. And it's important that we respect, especially in our youth, the authority that is around us. We're living in a culture where everything attacks authority, no matter whether it be political authority, whether it be police, whether it be instructors and teachers or whatever. There's great disrespect for authority, parents, even parents. And this is an indication of the time that we're living in. It's so important for us to be able to honor the authority that God puts in our lives. Because when we do so, we receive an unusual favor, not only through those individuals, but ultimately through God. Let me pray with you today that we can come against this tide of disrespect for authority. Lord, I thank you that you have blessed me with amazing parents that taught me the value of respecting authority. I pray that you will continue to give me grace to honor authority throughout the remainder of my days 
and for those who are listening, they would also be moved to honor the authority that is in their life and that they will know your wonderful grace and favor as a consequence of that. God bless them, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for listening to A Pastor's Perspective. I pray that you will enjoy the truths that we spoke about today, but also remember that we're open on Sunday, and we would love to have you join us at 10 o'clock, and we have some incredible times together in the presence of God. God bless you, and have a wonderful weekend.